What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to go over uh, how to market your iPad photo booth. And this is just specifically for iPad photo booths. Um, there's obvious re you know, ways to market it. You can always market it as, you know, a memory, uh, have these memories or entertainment or just just obvious reasons and ways to market your photo booth this is just just strictly for the ipad photo booth because that is 100 percent my focus and i don't even i'm not even talking about printing this is just the digital aspect of an ipad photo booth meaning they your customers will take photos and it gets sent to them digitally via email or text so let's get right into it first 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 thing and you should be marketing and make it clear on your website and all your social media is your price the ipad photo booth rental should be the most affordable rental for your customers reasons being is you're not paying you shouldn't pay an employee right if it's a drop-off which i recommend to everyone um is yeah, you don't have overhead. You're not paying an employee, meaning you don't have to pay them hourly. You don't have to pay them for tax or uh, sorry, tax. You don't have to cover gas. Uh, two is you're not paying for a printer. You don't have to worry about media. And printers are almost impossible to get right now, by the way. I do think I I, I have a plug on printers, but that's for another video. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping to have a plug on printers. But, you know, you you don't have all this extra cost of things that you know a traditional photo booth will have so you're saving money and that will allow you to operate at a lower price point so make it clear make your price known um if you want to be on the higher end for ipad photo booths knock yourself out but if you're not going to put your price down get ready to get calls and a bunch of messages about quotes because uh people will ask for that and um, if you're a top class salesman and you have all the time in the world to to freaking educate someone on, on pricing and why it's worth getting knock yourself out me i'd rather save my time and, and allow the person that wants to hire us look through our website and know our pricing even before they call me so price is huge and another uh, way you should market your photo booth is that it's a digital experience really lean into the technology aspect of this photo booth um the fact that it can do boomerangs the fact that it does uh, gifs um, video clips and the fact that they get the photos instantly is huge i'm talking email or text so for an example this is a gem bomb here um shout out to rex you know if you've seen our videos we did together gem bomb is i get a lot of customers that want to hire us for a quinceanera right it's usually the mom um reaching out there's the call and they're like hey we want to hire you for a quinceanera um how much for four hours of printing so what i explain is well, look, this is what we specialize in. It's digital photo booth. I don't say the word iPad. If you've seen my other videos, iPad kind of cheapens the experience. And um, a lot of people have their own iPads and they're not gonna wanna shell over $500, $600 or whatever you're charging for something they already have, thinking that they can do it themselves, just download some software. So call it a digital photo booth or a selfie booth, whatever you wanna call it. Just try not to use, use the word iPad. So I explained to this, um, to anyone that's interested in any any party with teenagers, right? Or a, a young crowd. I always say like, look, I've been doing this for eight years. Um, started off doing the prints. And I would, um, back in the day, I noticed that a lot of these kids are taking the prints that are coming out of the photo booth and they're grabbing their phone, taking a photo of the print and then leaving the print at the table or just forgetting it all together. And what we did is we eliminated the cost. So you don't have to pay for prints and the need for it. And we're giving the, the people what they want, which is a digital photo booth. So, you know, if they're going to take photos with their phone, the quality of the, the, the photo that they're getting on their phone isn't going to be great. I don't care how great your uh, setup is, but a, a, a photo of a print, it's obvious. So they'll get instant access to a high quality file, right? Um, and you really eliminate the, the need for a printer. And you can have the photo booth for a longer period of time at a cheaper cost. And nine out of 10 times, that's all they need to hear. That, that makes sense to them. But there will be that one person, that one out of 10 times where a parent might say, well, oh, we still want prints. Then that's when you mention online gallery. Every single event comes with an online gallery and it will have every single photo, every single video boomerang gift taken. And what you can do is go ahead and download all of the photos that you want to print. 
download them. You can go to CVS. There's dozens of websites where you can upload photos. They'll print it for you and ship it to your house. So just pay for what you need. You know, like, you know, what's the pr point of having a hundred prints? Uh, what are you going to do with them? Just, just keep the ones you'd like. And if you have your own printer, you can, you can literally upcharge for this service. You can charge $2 a photo, right? After the fact, you can have them go, go back and tell you what photos to print and you can actually do that. So the options are, are endless here. So Another reason and another well, another reason, another way to market your photo booth is the fact that it's unattended. I, I really thought out of the box when when marketing this, um, a lot of people on their post put on site attendant. Well, why? I mean, think about it, right? If you have your own party, do you really want a stranger there just just watching you? Like if I'm with my wife and I'm taking a photo, like I'm going to want to give her a kiss maybe like slap her in the butt or, or do something just silly. And I may not do that in front of a stranger. It might be a little awkward. So I always pitch, there's um, no attendant and that leads to a more private photo session. And I always say like, like our photo booth isn't just for memories. It's also, also an experience and it's fun. And um, it'll be funner with without someone there. And nine out of 10 times, they understand that, they like that idea. But then one out of 10 times, there's that one person that's like, well, what if something breaks? Like, what happens if there's a technical issue? Then you just remind them, like, look, back to point number two, I mean, it's a digital experience. Since there's no prints, there's no need for a flash. There's no need for all these unnecessary wires. We don't need to have a printer that has media in it. And there's less chances of things going wrong. And the photo booth, this photo booth is so much simpler. So there really isn't any reason to be worried about issues because they're very, very rare. But if there is an issue, always reassure, you can always reassure them that you will come back or have someone come um, make sure it's taken care of. So I always let the customers know, all we, all we really need to make sure is that there's uh, power and that we have good internet. And um, also that, you know, since all of our photo booths have SIM cards in it, um, I always let them know, it's like, look, as long as you have a cell phone, uh, cell phone, uh, bars at wherever the event is, we should be good to go. And you can always say too, like, look, even if there's no internet, once we pick up the photo booth, we get it to get the internet, all the photos get sent out. So really, all we really truly need is power. Um, and shout out to Jackery, you guys. Uh, speaking of power, um, you've seen that big old power bank that I put in my videos. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to order one. Um, Jackery makes great power, uh, power banks. So we use them all the time for our rentals and we actually upcharge customers to use our Jackery, literally $75 to use our power bank. It's better than gas generators cause it doesn't make a bunch of noise. It makes a slight noise once in every, once in a, once in a while. And you don't need to have a fire extinguisher, extinguisher next by, you know, it's not going to explode. There's no gas in it. So anyways, I'm getting off topic, but yeah, you guys, it's intimate and, uh, Another reason why I like, um, another thing you should market this iPad photo booth is the fact that they can customize the experience completely. You can totally do this with a DSLR booth, but you know, corporate, corporate companies love customized, um, customized experiences. So like, let's say I get hired by Krispy Kreme or they're interested in a photo booth, you know, what I'm going to market to them and, and pitch to them is like, look, the home screen, we can put your logo. Uh, we can add digital props if you'd like. We can have a customized template that will match the theme. And most importantly to um, to, to tell them is all of the numbers and uh, emails that get put into the photo booth so people can get their photos, it gets saved. And you can let Krispy Kreme know that at the end of their event, they'll have a PDF with all of the numbers. They can use that as marketing. And you can even have, add surveys to the photo booth, right? I know a lot of companies like to get this kind of information. You can literally ask a question before someone uses the photo booth, which is really, really neat. Um, Curator is awesome. Um, it does have that option. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I don't wanna make it too long. There are some other reasons, but these are just some reasons that I thought were um, very uncommon and not really talked about in the photo booth community. Um, as always, guys, I appreciate you. And um, I <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I'm really, really motivated as of recently to, to make more videos and um, follow me on Instagram, by the way. I'm going to put my link in the description. Uh, love you guys. And if you have any questions, um, reach out to me on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.